starting today off at San Gimignano. It's a small, beautiful walled town. And we're just gonna walk around a bit. And I think it's a perfect time to talk about Dynamic Range. So what is Dynamic Range? I'm gonna read it off here. The measure of the range of light intensities from shadows to the highlights. So basically, that's the latitude you have from the shadows to the highlights in which the camera still retains information. So today, all the photos you're gonna see, I'm gonna show you guys how you can use dynamic range to your advantage. So there's a lot of highlights here because it's really bright and shadows because of the walls and the buildings. So it's a perfect example of dynamic range. Let's go. So generally, digital cameras are better at retaining shadow information rather than highlight information. This is where the idea of having your highlights blown out comes from. Once you have the highlights too bright, there's a point where there's no more information within your highlights. So you can't pull them back and use that information anymore for your photo. Taking a break for lunch and we are at this panini place and there's only one guy here, he's the cashier, he's the cook, he's the everything. Let's check it out. This is so good. This is amazing. The prosciutto was aged for 24 months and they put this special kind of honey. So good. Worth the wait. We are now in Pisa and I heard this place is known for their pizza. And this weird building that's kind of slanted. Or was it the other way around? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, we are done here with the leading tower of Pisa. Now, next stop, Luca. We are now in Luca and we're just walking to dinner. Before that, for my tip for maximizing your dynamic range would be to shoot underexposed or exposed for the highlights. Because the modern day digital camera is pretty good at retaining shadow details, but the highlights, once they're blown out, they're gone. But always remember to know your camera and its strengths and limitations because that will really help you get the most of your camera. Now let's go have dinner. That was a good dinner and now I'm gonna show you guys some photos and if you notice in the before photo it's shot underexposed and then in the final edit you just bring back the shadows and that's how you get a good exposure. Alright that's about it for today. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little talk about dynamic range and the before and afters of these photos. Today's actually our last day in Tuscany so I'm gonna miss this place. It's absolutely beautiful. Check out the sunset. Alright, alright, guys, look.
magic. Cool, right?